Light is a form of energy which enables us to see the wonderful world around us. Light travels in a straight line path. Have you ever seen the path of light? I'll show you. For this, we'll take a white bottle. You can take a Dettol bottle, which is empty. Now we will fill smoke in it. Smoke can be filled by using agarbatti or dhubbatti. We will hold agarbatti or dhubbatti like this and the smoke will start filling in the bottle. This smoke will actually provide a medium so that we can see the path of light which is also known as a colloid. Now we will focus laser beam through this smoke. The path of the light is straight which is also known as rectilinear propagation of light. Now we will see what happens when light strikes a highly polished surface like a mirror. We will hold mirror behind this bottle and we will obliquely focus laser on it. Lights off please. Oh. The light is bouncing back and this bouncing back of light is called reflection. Now the ray which is incident on the mirror is called incident ray and the ray which is bouncing back is the reflected ray. Lights on please. Now after this we will see what happens when light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium. We will take this bottle and fill it half with water. I will add a few drops of milk. Why did you add milk to it? So that the path of light becomes visible. Okay. Now we will be adding smoke in the upper portion that is the level above water. So that the path of light is visible in this part of the bottle also. Now we will focus this laser beam and we see that it changes its path at the water air interface because air is in the upper portion of bottle whereas water is in the lower portion of bottle. And that means that this beam is bending down. Yes, this bending of light is called refraction. Now if we move our hand downwards, then we can pass light from water to air. 
similar phenomenon will be observed and if i change the angle a time will come when the light will bounce back from the air water interface that is reflection will occur but this reflection is called total internal reflection so ma'am you have shown that light travels in a straight line path light it even bounces back that was reflection and in this activity you showed me that it even bends when it moves from water to air or from air to water how does it happen ma'am actually when light travels its speed is different in different mediums that is in air the speed of light or we can say velocity of light is greater than the velocity of light in water so when light travels from air to water its velocity decreases and this results in bending of light which is also called refraction okay. 